Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to see the Cherish OS 2.8 official version for the Poco X2. So guys, let's begin. So as you guys can see here, this is the Cherish OS version 2.8. The Android version here is 11 as you know, as usual and the security patch level we get here is the latest 1 5th of August 2021 and the maintainer here is Anki. The kernel we get here is the Redcliffe kernel performance one, the latest 2.12x Redcliffe kernel we are getting so yeah which is great. This is looking just too great, this is design the UI here. So yeah going back this is the settings panel as you can see just like stock android but it's a little bit redesigned and going to the home screen here also everything is just the same this is the quick settings panel this is like the oxygen os now i'll show you the lock screen here this is the lock screen i had changed the lock screen clock style to the android 12 one which is also looking just great and this is by default the lock screen looking great there are some few ui designs of android 12 like on the lock screen only now first of all taking a look at the settings here these are the settings in this system these these are just the normal options we get to see nothing new and here is the option for the system update but i checked there are no updates available and every time i try it just shows me update check fail please check your internet as you can see i am connected to the internet and wi-fi here is just working fine currently so yeah this is a work that the updates are just not available but it is showing now going back uh, to the sound and vibration here also everything here is just the same this is the volume panel which i had changed to shape shift to one but there is another volume panel by default available which i will be just showing you in the customizations options of when we'll reach there so these are the options the resume pause media and everything expand enable expand button in volume panel and everything these are some new options and this is the new redesigned ui of the sound settings then going to the display options these are the display options dark theme light night light live display and everything these styles and wallpapers available here color display styles and everything and the lock screen these are the options the always on and everything you can set it whatever you want then you get to see the device specific and here is also if you want you can turn the build style notch off from here if you want to and here are the options the minimum refresh rate you can set to 60 90 or 120 going back to the battery options here is the battery usage for from 95% to 58% and the screen on time I got was 3 hours 15 minutes which I had watched a Netflix series and so the 3 hours and 15 minutes of screen on time from 95% to 58% battery drain which is a great battery backup and another example I'll, here is the battery usage from 100% to 25% battery drain the screen on time was 5 hours 49 minutes <clears throat> so yeah battery backup on this room here is just not an issue it's just a great battery backup going to the customizations these are the options the cherish settings these are the status bar options customizations available whatever you want the quick settings here is the header image as you can see this is how it looks this is the header image and there was one cool header image as you can see this was the header image found in the system so yeah it just looks great when you apply the header image then moving forward these are all just the options available there are so many customizations available in this room then in the themes this is the clock styles available you can change the clock styles from here i have set to android 12 1 and this is how it looks if you have missed out the starting of the video as you can see this is how it looks this is the lock screen available so this is like the android 12 one then the status bar height and everything you can customize it 
the brightness slider and everything then this is the volume panel style like the stock one is like this as if you are able to see this is like the stock one and if you expand it this is the volume panel style the stock keep by default one then going back to buttons these are just the options available in the animations you can just change the animations like the list view animation this is are all the animation available you can just switch to whatever you want go to lock screen these are the options the charging animations and stuff everything then in the miscellaneous the gaming mode here is available the ambient display brightness you can customize wake up on charge the screenshot type and everything the, in all these customizations there is one option missing the double tap to turn off the screen it's just this option is just not available for the home screen and also for the status bar it is available in almost all the other custom rooms the double tap to sleep on the status bar but on this room it's just not available so this was it for the settings now moving to the home screen this is the home screen which i had previously shown the quick settings wi-fi mobile data torch and everything here is working hotspot here is also working screen recorder here is available and it is working fine then this is the refresh rate toggle we get to see in this quick settings which is also great now moving forward to camera the by default cam we get here is the anx cam but this is just not great many features in this cam here are missing as in the mode as you can see these are the only options available then in the video mode these are the only options available the 720p 30 1080p 30 and 1080p 60 there is there is no 4k option available in this anx cam there are many features missing in this anx cam but talking about the google cam this is the gcam i am using and it is just one of the best google camera available for the poco x2 right now if you want a video on this gcam just let me know in the comment section below then talking about this drm info this widewind status widewind security level then we get to see the widewind l1 security level so you will be able to stream hd quality videos on netflix and amazon prime on any other streaming app okay. then talking about the safety net status the safety net status has passed and the banking apps are just running perfectly fine there are no issues running banking apps everything was just works fine so then talking about uh, the performance of this room this is the geekbench scores so here are the geekbench scores 509 and 1557 the geekbench scores are not that amazing not that great as compared to other rooms but there are no issues with the performance everything here is just working fine the performance on this room here is just great i am having no issues the battleground mobile here is just working perfectly fine no issues with the battleground mobile also the gaming performance on this room here is also just great the app opening speeds and everything on this room here is it's just fast and fluid and smooth there are no lags or stutters you can use it as a rail driver if you want to now talking about the bugs here there is no as such major bugs there are only some ui bugs i'll just show it to you as you can see in the lock screen the six and nine digit as you can see it is just cutting out a bit the ui here is a little bit bigger in my opinion it's just bigger than any other rom the ui then when you turn on the dark mode i'll just turn it on when you turn on the dark mode then on the lock screen and if i type the password as you can see you will it, you will not be able to see it on up here as you can see and it will just not show that incorrect password or anything when i enter the correct password it just unlocks so this is a bug present in the dark theme as you can see here this is also a bug this i have faced in for the first time as you can see the notification bug i am in the dark theme and this is the bug present here now let's just switch to the normal and you will be able to see it fine so yeah these are some issues with the ui otherwise everything here is working fine there are some ui bugs present here in this room this is a new ui available and 
Yes, yeah, so which was as expected. It will get better by after the after few updates of the Cherish OS. But overall, the ROM here is just great. It's smooth, fluid, and everything just works perfectly fine. Performance is not an issue. So yeah, that is it for now. If you enjoyed this video, then don't forget to hit the like button. If you are new to this channel, then please like subscribe to the channel. And if you have any questions, then you can ask me in the comment section below or in the Telegram group. I'll meet you in the next one. Till then, stay safe, have fun, and goodbye.